had enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jeez! Oh! Ah! Fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah. Um... We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and now here we are. Something jumped out? Uh, an animal. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, it's just, it, it, don't know what kind. It was so fast and... Yeah. Well, it was most likely a deer. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry summer camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh... I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we call ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay, fine, yeah, we'll head to the motel, understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost, completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Uh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Okay, so we are right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning.
Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Don't you need like Have a statement? Have a good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo the vibes. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. Get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is anybody home? What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Hey, you ready to roll?
I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the law. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So, someone's trapped. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. What are you doing? I'm just, you know, I'm scoping it out. Max? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs>
Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, Aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom, or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. This is what might come to pass, a possible future, a path yet unchosen. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever! (laughs) 
You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. And you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I'm with their goddamn life. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, sign. Are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Close. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Skill. <sighs> Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck.
All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. You're right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. 
Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Go do, 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 long. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <gasps> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot star who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep German Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. Um, uh... Okay, well, well, fine. I'm just going to do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements.
everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Ready to roll? Not just yet. Well, come back when you are. Finally! <sighs> Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is 
just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? 
Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda woulda if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags. Right, cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay, okay, enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? The age of HSQ. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry, I was just... Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> No, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello?
Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But... Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're